uh, stream just dropped again, but anyway, welcome back to Master of the Grid. Hopefully we're back on the same status as we once were. We do, do have another full house here, of course. Filled up the seats yet again on Pancake. Nice little look here. T is in action here. System out, print in, get tracked. Good stuff there. You set me back here again as well as Nod Scatter. We had his question last time. We are back here live, I think, I believe. Yes, so we are back with Master of Grid. Sorry for that slight drop there, guys. D2K, Brez, Loco Snake, Giga Cypher, and Lord Malice wearing the crown up here. We got former victors, Lord Malice, Jordan, Dennis, and uh, Van is up here as well as Erwin back and ready to compete once more in the Kappa Face of Marcus 29 RA. I'll play the game with this crew fan. You want to go to masterofthegrid.net and click on my face. As soon as you get there, you'll be able to go to masterofthegrid.net slash play slash twitch slash bear taffy, and you will play along with us. Those of you who are in the game now, uh, hopefully everybody is good. Uh, if you guys need to reload the uh, stream, feel free to do that. Hopefully that gets you guys live again. But for now, ready to start the show. I think we're ready to go with our first question of the show now. Here we go. In the Fifty Shades trilogy, what is the second book? Fifty Shades Darker, Fifty Shades Freed, Fifty Shades of Grey, or Fifty Shades Rebirth? There we go. Can I have all the answers? Certainly, Donkey, yeah. Let me hook you up with that. The second book of the Fifty Shades trilogy is Fifty Shades Darker, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Free, or Fifty Shades Rebirth. That is Fifty Shades Darker. Lots of Fifty Shades fans up here in the audience, right? I hope no one knows this. Oh, man. Lots of, lots of knowledgeable book connoisseurs. High class literature, of course, with Master of the Grid. Not scatter fast to answer that one correctly. Well played. Good stuff. Next challenge coming up. We got our second question here of the day. Here we go. The Major League Baseball franchise currently known as the Texas Rangers. Relocated in 1972 from their original home in which city? It's Seattle, Washington, Montreal, Quebec, Kansas City, Missouri, or Washington, D.C. Texas Rangers relocated from which city in 1972? Oh, Butoris, you have to go. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to miss you. Washington, D.C. is a great answer. They, they uh, established in 1961 as the Washington Senators. An expansion team awarded to Washington, D.C. after the city's first ball club, the original Washington Senators, moved to Minnesota and became the Twins. After the 1971 season, the new Senators moved to Arlington, Texas, and debuted as the Rangers the following spring. Wow. Not very many folks managed to get that one. Guest 4386 with the fastest to, to uh, answer correctly there. That's true, lawyer. Yes, DC has lost two different baseball teams. Sad times. Okay. We are on our third challenge here. We very well may see the, uh, the loss of a few of our competitors here. True or false? Let's go. Off the coast of England, there's a small man made island nation with a population of less than 100. Is that true or false? Off the coast of England, there's a small man-made island nation with a population of less than 100. Less than 100 people live on the Principality of Sealand. That is a true statement. The Principality of Sealand mass consists of what was HM Fort Ruffs. Former Second World War Mounsel Sea Fort off the coast of Suffolk, England, the United Kingdom. Man. The sports questions, I guess, is what we're expecting, right? Rhapsody 09, the fastest to answer that one correctly. Well done. Just got here, Libriad, welcome. We've lost a few, we've lost six. Our remaining 77 competitors still going strong. Another true or false question in here. Let's do it. This will be a fun one. Fred Durst, vocalist in the, in the band Limp Biscuit, was sent a letter of gratitude by the World Trade Center for featuring the towers in their music video, Rollin' Air Raid Vehicle. 
Is that true or false? My goodness. Is that a true statement? We shall find out. The correct answer is true. Fred Durst was sent a letter of gratitude on September 10th, 2001, one day before the Twin Towers were destroyed in a terrorist attack. Limp Biscuit received a letter from the World Trade Center thanking them for featuring the towers in their video. Look at that. Good night, PMG. Don't get the fastest to answer that one correctly down to a single heart. Y'all got Durst. Y'all got Dursted. My goodness. Lost quite a few on that one as well. Here we go. Let's do it. In H.P. Lovecraft's At the Mountains of Madness, what is William Dyer's profession? Is he a geology professor, the theologian, street vendor, or an astronomical researcher? In H.P. Lovecraft's At the Mountains of Madness, what is William Dyer's profession? He is considered a geology professor. While a geologist, his main profession is considered to be a professor of that science in the fictitious Miskatonic University. H.P. Lovecraft's The Mountains of Madness. Uh, yeah, Jack and Josh, that is masterofthegrid.net. Maybe wants to drop that full link in there as well. Haswald with the fastest to answer that one correctly. Lost quite a few more on that one as well, my goodness. We are having ourselves a... Uh, we are having ourselves a match here, ladies and gentlemen. A must-own game, in my opinion, Rafiki. I'd probably say uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Always been my favorite. Always recommend that one for everyone. Then drop a life flies here, Tom! <laughs> Holy cow. We have lost quite a few, man, but still, I think, a few folks surviving. Actually, wow, yeah, we got a lot of folks down to one heart. Guest 4386 still has three. Well done, Guest 4386. I recommend signing in to be able to win your gritties, by the way, guys. Look at him alone over there with three hearts left. My goodness. Let's go. Burger King had a campaign on Facebook for a free Whopper if you unfriended ten people. Is that true or false? Burger King had a campaign on Facebook. Give you a free Whopper if you unfriended ten people. Five seconds left. That was actually true. That was a true thing. That actually happened. The victims apparently received a message telling them that their friendship meant less than a free Whopper. It's pretty damn good. Haswell, the fastest answer there again. It's good stuff to think. Yeah, absolutely. Guess 4386 still with a perfect game thus far. Yes, percent indeed. Go, oh, oh, Grace. Your pulse is kind of broken now. I don't know. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I think we're good. All right, here we go. In the book Loser, the main character Donald Zinkoff's signature hat is in the image of which animal? Is it a giraffe, a flamingo, a tortoise, or a monkey? Twelve seconds left. Book Loser by Jerry Spinelli. Main character's signature hat is in the image of which animal? The correct answer there is a giraffe. Actually, I had that question uh, a few shows ago. Let's see if anybody has a pretty particularly good memory here. Guest thirty or forty-three eighty-six, still perfect. Batman nineteen or Batman nine five zero two. Apologies, man. Fastest answer that one correctly. Well done, Batman. Yeah, had another repeat there, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Still alive with three hearts. Look at that, gal. Ten left. We got Fiar Flank up here with one heart. Batman 9502 surviving with two. Silk? Silkaster? Silkaster with one. Lord Malice, former winner with one heart left. Subdue 2K, Flappy Dong, Habercraft with two hearts. Venom 902, Erwin, former winner, and guest 4306. My goodness. Still surviving, going strong. Ten competitors remain. Move past that one here as well. Alright. Choose the right answer. 
This is the name of the default text-to-speech male voice in Microsoft Windows 2000 and Windows XP. It's that Microsoft Sam, Microsoft Steve, MS Stan, or Talk Sam. Microsoft's default text-to-speech male voice, Windows 2000 and XP. That is indeed Microsoft Sam. I managed to get that one correct. Guest, oh no, guest 4386 lost the first one. Fjar Flank was the fastest to answer that one correctly. Didn't actually lose anybody there, I don't think. We still have 10 left. Raffle Copter goes swore, swore, swore. Oh my goodness, that is indeed Microsoft Sam. Okay. On we go again. Didn't lose a single person. This is a uh, pretty current question here, isn't it? Let's do it. In the visual novel game, Hatiful Boyfriend, the characters in the game are usually depicted as which animal? Spiders, pigeons, dogs, or lizards? Here we go. Nine seconds. Very recent release. Published by Devolver Digital, Hatiful Boyfriend. That would be pigeons. As a matter of fact, the name Hatiful arises from the words Hatiful, which means heartful and hurtful, as well as Hato, which means pigeon or dove. Batman 9502, fastest to answer that one correctly. I think we lost somebody on that one. We did lose somebody on that one. We are down to nine. Yes. My goodness. Best game 2020 indeed. Yes, 4386 actually got that one wrong as well, down to one heart. Lord Mal is still cased, Batman is still alive with two. Flappy Dong, Fjarf Link, Habacraft down to one as well as Venom 902. We have nine left. So you manages to survive. We will crown the champion. Oh, and a subscription from Johnny plays MC. Thank you very much, man. Bear hug to you, buddy. First subscription of the day. Johnny plays MC. Welcome back to the top of the bear pile, my friend. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate that support quite a bit. We'll go ahead and skip past that one here as well. All right, here we go. Who was the Greek goddess of love and beauty? Is that Aphrodite, Cupid, Venus, or Hera? Who was the Greek goddess of love and beauty? Is that Aphrodite, Cupid, Venus, or Hera? Find out that indeed is Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love and beauty. We knocked a couple out. Oh, there goes guest 4386 as well as Fjar Flank. Have a craft the fastest to answer that one correctly. How quickly the mighty have fallen. Poor guest. Uh, this quick reminder. Let yourselves know you gotta get that uh get that registration going so you can win these gritties, man. Guest, you done goofed. Oh no. Down to seven. Down to seven. Batman's still staying strong up here. 9502 going crazy with it. Lord Malice subdue 2K. Still case to Flappy Dong, Habercraft, and Venom. Next question coming up. Ooh, we're going to pass by that. Aha. Uh -huh. This will be fun. Here we go. Who's the voice acting? Who is the voice actor for James, the dad in Fallout 3? Is it Malcolm McDowell, Charlie Warren, Ron Perlman, or Liam Neeson? Who is the voice actor for the dad, your father, Fallout 3, submitted by Eredne? It's actually a very good question because the majority of these guys actually did voices in Fallout 3, but the correct answer is Liam Neeson. Uh, Ron Perlman was the narrator. Uh, McDowell voiced John Henry... Oh, yeah, John Henry Eden, and then Warren voiced... Uh, I'll start 10 penny. We lost a few there. Ooh, knocked out four. Lord Malice is gone. Venom 902, the fastest to answer that one correctly. Liam Neeson, voice the father. In Fallout 3. And speaking of three, we were down to three here. Venom 902, Batman 9502. Let's see who's the better of the 902 class, as well as Silkaster. Fighting off here. Three remaining. 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Well, let's do it. I gotta I gotta give him credit for having this kind of question. Um Let's go. Rank these Pokemon by order of the base special attack stat they have on Pokemon X and Y. Sebiper, Lucolo, Cryogonal, Octillery, and Jolteon. <laughs> Thank you, Adam J. Stefanacci. Wow. If anybody gets this, I'm gonna be blown away. This is this is uh that is insane. The correct answer. Jolteon, Octillery, Sevenper, Cragonal, Ludicolo. 110, 105, 195, 90. If anybody was curious. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nobody got that one. Good, okay. I just wanted to play it for fun. Yeah, you probably all missed it. Alright. That's just for fun. Okay, here we go. Legitimate challenge. Here it is. Name the game pictured here. Is that Gravity Bone, Rocky Memphis, Spectre, Spelunker Shrinks, or Spelunky Classic? Submitted by Newsy Shibuzi. Hey, Colnendra, welcome. None of those com Pokemon are competitively viable. Zero out of ten, yeah. Oh my god. The Jolteon was the most. There you go. What is the game pictured here? This is Spectre Spelunker Shrinks. And, uh, oop, we got the graphical witch again, unfortunately. But Silkcaster was the only one to answer that one correctly. That means we lost... We lost, uh... One of our final three. Oh, and it was Venom. Poor guy. Venom 902 is gone. Batman had two hearts down to one. We have two contestants remaining, both with one heart left. Batman 9502, Silkaster. Is that Silkaster? I guess that could be Silkaster. Silkaster versus 9502, Batman. Who will emerge victorious? We'll find out now. The tiny nation of Andorra is, at least in theory, Jointly ruled by the Bishop of Urgell in Spain, and which other person? That'd be the British monarch, the UN Secretary General, the Pope, or the President of France. The tiny nation of Andorra is ruled in joint by which two people? Is in joint with the Bishop of Urgell and the President of France. Let's see if anybody got that one right. Batman knew it! My goodness, and Batman, congratulations! Batman9502, you are our winner for this show here and now. Batman, well done. You know your Angola. Or not Angola. What was it? I don't even remember. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Batman wins. Well done. Well done, friend. You got it. Congratulations, Batman9502. Guys, we're going to play our last round of Master of the Grid here. I would implore you guys that have already played around, please allow those of you who have, or, uh, those of us that have not have a chance to join in to grab the seats first. Then, of course, fill them in as soon as these things look like they're slowing down a little bit. Uh, we will be back after 90 seconds of ads here for the last round of Master of the Grid for today. If you want to play uh, the game with us, go to masterofthegrid.net slash play slash twitch slash bear taffy i'm gonna open up seating right now and we'll be back in about 90 seconds for the final round of master of the grid for today right after this <laughs> 